So what's going on guys, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to upgrade the lightning bow in the Eisendraka on Black Ops 3 Zombies. This bow is absolutely insane, you definitely want to get this bow upgraded as this lightning bow upgraded is simply amazing. If this guide does help you out, feel free to spare a second to hit that like button as this is quite a long easter egg. It's not a particularly easy one and it does involve quite a lot of steps so make sure you're paying attention to each step and if you you follow each step correctly you will have yourself an upgraded lightning bow so before you can begin to upgrade the bow you need to have the normal bow the wrath of the ancients if you don't know how to get that i'll have a link down below it'll be the first link in the description very simple and you'll get yourself the wrath of the ancients so once you have your bow you want to go out to the middle part of the map which is called the bastion which is just above from the courtyard and shoot the iron dragon compass that you can see in the air it's the massive iron dragon with the north east south west on it shoot that and it will open a crack in the wall just in front of it to drop a lightning bow part and this will start the quest for the lightning bow now you can't pick up any other quest parts as that will actually cancel out the parts for this particular upgrade and that will be for a completely different elemental upgrade now i'll have guides on all four of the bows very soon but this is the lightning bow now the second step outside the map are going to be three locations that need to be lit on fire by shooting a arrow at it now now, you need to shoot each of those. Now, the first one, the easiest way to get this is to go down to the mine shaft to where Mule Kick is and look outside of the map, and you'll see this kind of little platform outside a castle head. Shoot that with one of your arrows, and if aimed correctly, it should cause this to light on fire. We now need to do these for two more locations. Now, one of these is outside the map near the courtyard, and if you're in the courtyard section and you go up the stairs towards where you'll find one of the launch pads as well as the Wonder Fizz machine there'll be a little crack in the wall and if you look out you will be able to see this really really far in the distance and you need to aim your shot pretty good so I say the best way to do this is aim for the top of the smoke you'll see like a bunch of smoke coming from above this aim for the very top of the smoke and your arrow should fly all the way there and light this one on fire and the last one is in the rocket test facility so as you come out the teleporter make your way through the main doors and take a right and you'll notice far up one of the cliff faces you will notice this last and final one and once you've shot all three of these a picture of your character will pop up on the top left of your screen and there'll be a little circle around it and there should be a quarter of this circle outline filled in with white which means we've completed one of the four steps required the next step we need to do is you need to go down to the undercroft section which is the underground area and make sure you have the anti-gravity kind of step activated which if you do not know how to do there's this weird triangle and there's going to be these four kind of steps panels that you can stand on you just need to stand on these long enough so that they illuminate blue and stay that way and then every so often anti-gravity will be activated in that room you want anti-gravity to be activated and then you want to wall run all around the room and there'll be these huge new panels on the walls which to me look like smoke or like a build up of wind you need to wall run on all of these and you cannot touch the ground during this process if you do you gonna have to jump back on the wall but you need to wall run all around the room to hit all of these in a sequence so that when the anti-gravity goes away you'll notice that all of these symbols are now lit up all along the wall and you know you've done that step correctly now the next step is around the map specifically in the bell tower in the rocket facility and by one of the spawn areas there's going to be these weird electrical vases that have spawned around the map now these need zombie souls and it takes around about six zombie souls to be collected by each of these vases for them to be completely filled up now you can use any weapon to do this you don't have to use the boat once you're not getting any more souls by any of these three locations, you'll know that you need to go on to the next step. And with this one, it's pretty tricky. So I'll make sure that you have a crawler saved or someone looking after a crawler so you don't accidentally get in the way or get down doing this. But what you need to do is you need to aim and hold down your right trigger so you've, you've got an arrow primed and ready to go so that when you let go of the right trigger, the arrow will fly. So what you need to do is hold down the right trigger so you're charging up an arrow and you want to walk up to one of these vases now you should notice that your arrow now becomes electrified and you need to go over to the original locations that we did at the start of this quest and you need to actually shoot them with the electrified arrow so now not only are they flamed but they are also electrified which creates this crazy flame lightning effect which is really cool you need to do this for all three of the locations 
and once you've used one of those vases to electrify your arrow and successfully lit the thing up with lightning as well as fire that vase will now become normal again so you need to go around the map and use each of those vases to create an electrified arrow to shoot each of these locations now once you've done this you want to go back to the bastion section and shoot the compass again now you need to wait a few moments as there'll be like fire and lightning coming all around the compass it's amazing and then a few moments later it will actually drop a reforged arrow exactly where you first picked up the purple item to start this individual quest it will say hold square to uh, pick up reforged arrow and then from there you need to go back down to the undercroft section the underground and hold square or x in front of the box in this pyramid section and if it relates to your symbol that's the one you need to go for and that will actually place the reforged arrow in now you need to collect souls to fill in this arrow and you probably need around about 15 to 20 zombie souls in order for this to be completely filled up now once the arrow is complete and you'll know this because no more souls will be collected make your way over to the arrow get out your wrath of the ancients bow and hold square or x and the box shall accept your bow and you won't have it for around about 10 to 15 seconds now when this step is completed you'll see a top left pop-up of the full circle completed and there'll be a really nice icon in the middle of your character which indicates that this is completed and you now have an upgraded bow and you should get a trophy pop which which actually links in with upgrading one of the bows and that's how you get your lightning bow this thing is absolutely amazing you want to make sure that when you do shoot it you shoot charged arrows because not only does it send out a wind element but also a lightning element which makes a like kind of swirling tornado and any zombies nearby will also be zapped by lightning bolts which zap around the tornado it's absolutely amazing let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this upgraded bow do you like it make sure to check the playlist link down below and description because I'll have guides on how to get the other elemental bows it'll be all on my channel if you enjoy the video make sure to give it a like rating subscribe for more videos like this and I'll catch you on another one very very soon